Hello, James Hurst Elementary. I am Dr. Latif Tariq. And today I'm going to take you through a journey of some of the historical people who helped to develop Portsmouth, Virginia. So just hold on. I need to share my screen with you. And after sharing my screen, I will join you to close out this program. Today, we're going to have a discussion on some of the people who helped to develop the Black community in Portsmouth. So I am actually going to go through some of the individuals you are looking at on the screen right now. The very first person I would talk about would be I.C. Norcom. Most of you all know of the school I.C. Norcom on London Boulevard and on the side of High Street. But what you do not know is that throughout the history of Portsmouth, there have been three I.C. Norcom High School. The first I.C. Norcom High School was actually called the Chestnut Street School. The Chestnut Street School was founded by I.C. Norcom, and I.C. Norcom was sent here by the George Peabody Foundation to help start Black education in Portsmouth, Virginia. After the death of I.C. Norcom, the Chestnut School became I.C. Norcom High School. Since that time, there have been three I.C. Norcom High Schools. The very first high school was on Chestnut Street. That school is no longer there. The second I.C. Norcom High School was on Frederick Boulevard. That building is no longer there. And the I.C. Norcom High School that you all know of today is the I.C. Norcom High School on London Boulevard and on High Street. The second person we would discuss would be Jeffrey Wilson. Now, most of you all are too young to really know about Jeffrey Wilson because it used to be a housing development in which people used to stay. However, today it's a new housing development. So the old housing development is no longer there, but in the spirit of Jeffrey Wilson, we would talk about his contribution to the black community in Portsmouth. Despite being born a slave, Jeffrey Wilson, after slavery, became what you would call a radical Republican. And that is, he was an African-American man who advocated for the political rights of Black people in Portsmouth. He used to express those political concerns for the people in Portsmouth in the Portsmouth newspaper called the Portsmouth Star. The Portsmouth Star no longer exists. However, within the Portsmouth Star, Jeffrey Wilson used to write his columns and those columns was called the colored notes. One thing about Jeffrey Wilson is he lived within the black community. So if you think about Lincoln Park, Lincoln Park is actually named after the old African-American black settlement or black community that was settled after the Civil War called Lincolnville. You can actually get there by going down Elm Avenue. If you continue to travel down Elm Avenue, you will come to where Ida B. Barber. Now, Ida B. Barber is also named after a old housing development. It is no longer there. But let me tell you about the special contributions of Ida B. Barber. Ida B. Barber was educated at the Philadelphia Institute for Colored Youth, currently Cheney State University. That is a historically black college and university today. But after graduating, she came to Portsmouth and she started off by opening an orphanage. An orphanage is a place where young people who have lost their parents or may not have anywhere to stay would go and they would stay there. She turned that orphanage into the first child care center in Portsmouth in 1910. If you go in Prentice Park, you can see the little red building that is still a daycare today. Many people in my generation attended Ida B. Barber daycare. We should always think of her in terms of helping to take care of the young people and the children in the city of Portsmouth. If you go down Elm Avenue and you make a right onto County Street, you would see where her small bust, her statue is dedicated to the works of educating young children in the city of Portsmouth. Now, some of you may be asking, hey, who was the first black mayor in the city of Portsmouth? 
Well, I would tell you that the first black mayor in the city of Portsmouth name was James W. Harley III. We commonly call him Dr. Harley. Dr. Harley was also a dentist. Dr. Harley graduated from dental school from Howard University. However, he's known for being our first black mayor and ultimately the city longest serving mayor. And although both his mayoral terms were separated by a decade, he ended with his being recalled from office. Thus, he became the only known politician in American history to be twice recalled until Felton, California Councilman Don Bankhead was recalled in June 2012. So what does recall mean? It means that the citizens of Portsmouth voted for Mayor Harley to come back into office and serve the city of Portsmouth. Now, Portsmouth have been named or known for their athletes for a very, very long time. But I'm going to give you just a little information of the athlete here. And his name is Borkins. He was born in Portsmouth, Virginia. He graduated from I.C. Norcom High School and he currently plays in the NBA. So if you think of Portsmouth, Virginia, and you think of some of the famous people who've come from Portsmouth, we have entertainers like Missy Elliott, we have basketball players, and Portsmouth, Virginia has a long history of athletes. So I am going to end or stop my screen so you all can see me. All right, I hope you enjoyed that short trip or that short understanding of some of the historical contributions of African-Americans in the city of Portsmouth. Now, for you all, what I would like for you all to do is do some research so you can understand why we have a Charles P. Little League in the city of Portsmouth. Do you actually know who Roger Brown was? Oh, Roger Brown also was another famous athlete. We've had famous singers, not only Missy Elliott, but also we have Ruth Brown. She was also from Portsmouth. So Portsmouth have a long, long history. We have African-American Civil War soldiers. We have singers. We have entertainers. We have famous basketball players. So your community that you live in are very special. And you should thank you, your community is being very special. And Portsmouth overall is a very special place for you to live. So as you go throughout the month of February and think about Black History Month, you should think about some of the special people, some of the special places, and some of the special events that occurred right here in Portsmouth, Virginia. You should always take care of your community, have community pride, and make sure that Portsmouth is a safe place for you all to live and grow up. So this is going to end my presentation. I am Latif Tariq. If you see me around Portsmouth, just say, hey, I saw you. You're the guy who did our Black History Month program. Thank you very much. And hopefully I'll be able to talk to you all soon.